Hello, everybody, and welcome to more of my too spoopy Halloween special. As always, this is your host, Gunsage, and today we are playing Ghouls and Ghosts, a pretty solid follow-up to Ghosts and Goblins for the arcade. Three credits on the board, let's see how far I get! Zap! And zap. Yeah. Okay, now in the Super Nintendo version, there's double jump, and this one not so much. And you might think that makes it more difficult, but not really, because see, the levels were designed in the Super Nintendo one to incorporate the double jump, whereas in this one, not so much. You can also fire upward. Yeah, it's almost not even worth opening the chest, because that happens about 90% of the time. <laughs> Really gotta watch those vultures, because they can be dicks. And just like last time, you gotta commit to the direction you're gonna jump in, because... There we go! Golden armor! What does that do? Well, you charge it up, and then BOOM, BITCH! Yeah! There are, uh, there's some pretty interesting choices for platforming in this one. By interesting, I mean fucking tough. Yep, and uh, one hit and your fucking armor is gone, as usual, but that includes your fucking golden armor, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Alright. Now, the wind doesn't actually push you back, but it does make you slower. It's not super difficult, but it's just kind of annoying is all. Oh shit. Fucking bomb power up. Whereas the torch in the last one was pretty cool, the bomb in this one is pretty crap. Ah. That was almost bad. Alright, let's keep going. Come on. Okay. It's also kind of random, like, where they're gonna stop. I think you can predict it, but you kind of can't. Damn it! Seriously? You asshole! God damn it! Yeah, this one—it's trickier for the for different reasons. Like it's not um, it's not super tough, but it tries. Oh, it tries. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of prefer the, god damn it, the wavy knights with the shields in the last one, because at least you can hit them in the back. These guys, not so much. And watch, it'll be another fucking magician. I know. Why do I do this to myself? Oh, I'm an old man. Oh no, I'm an old man. What am I gonna do now, man? Yeah, it's, it's really worth taking your time here, but you kind of can't. You do have to watch out for those fucking tentacle weeds, though, because they are a pain in the ass. Ah! Oof. Okay. Damn it! Fucking respawned on me. Get the fuck out of here. You gotta hit him in a very specific. Jesus! All the fucking respawns. I tell you what. Well, that was great from the first credit, wasn't it? All right, come on. Let's go. I mean, it, you know, it's definitely viscerally more impressive. 
it does more, but, I mean, I don't know. I would say the Super Nintendo version of this is pretty fucking sweet. I might even play that one, I don't know. But I don't feel like it's it's so dissimilar from the arcade that it kind of war- Damn it! That it kind of warrants me- Are you fucking kidding me? The worst part is when you see it coming, so you try to recorrect, and it's like, Nope! Too fucking late, asshole. Thanks a fucking lot, bitch. Make some fucking progress here. There we go. I honestly wouldn't be so annoyed with that part if it wasn't for the fucking wind effect. That shit's annoying. You might wonder if the other pathway is easier. <laughs> oh, you're fooling yourself. You think there's an easy path. I mean, seriously. Fuck you, piggy! Well, you kind of got to, don't you? I guess it really didn't matter that much. Oh, well. Shit. Okay. There we go. You know, this is the kind of game that I wish there wasn't a timer. Because if there wasn't a timer, it would be a little bit, uh, a little bit better for you. This guy is not fun. You have to hit him in the fucking face. Fucking Dark Souls the shit out of you. Fuck! Bitch! Ah! Motherfucker! Yes, that's fantastic, isn't it? I really need a different weapon. I mean, yes, if you can fucking nail it, kind of like uh, Holy Water in Castlevania, then you're good, but if you're having trouble, well, fuck you, you know? And it would, it, it would have been a lot better if I could have kept my glow armor. But even that, I mean... <laughs> you're just fucking fooling yourself there. I mean, seriously. It is really super hard to keep that shit. It's the best thing for you, but... You can't count on it too much. I will say, what seems to be the pattern is if you... Oh, fuck. If you have two chests in a row, the second chest is going to have something good for you. And by something good, I mean usually a, uh... You know, usually armor. Sometimes a power-up, but usually armor, which is nice. But your first chest is, is going to be the fucking trolling ass magician. I just, you know, it doesn't even really seem like there's a good pattern for fighting this guy, either. That's, that's kind of the problem. I mean, shit. You can't get too close. Well, the, I guess the biggest problem is the fucking weapon I've got. But you can't get too close, or he's gonna fuck you with his face. Ladies. But, uh, you can't, uh... You know, you can't get too far away, either, because then you can't hit him. And again, it, it would be better. Yes, it would definitely be better. If, uh, you know, a duck. That's great! How did the duck have armor? Eh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm glad I didn't just die immediately, but come on. This is not fucking ducktails here. Okay, now, is this gonna have armor for me? No, of course not! You son of a bitch! That was close. Really fucking lucky, in fact. Okay. Shit, that was close. That is one nice thing about that weapon. If they're close enough, you can just spam the fuck out of it. That's about the only nice thing about the weapon. But, you know. Oh, hey, I can do that. Uh, I didn't even think about that until just now. Well, okay then. Oh. Nope. 
Nope. run out, which is here shortly. I'm sure of it. Ooh, that was close. Okay. I really hate the concept of the magician in this, because it's like, hey, you know what? How can we, how, how can we troll the fucking player even more? I know! Let's have a dickhead magician that'll sometimes come out. And, uh, he won't, he won't hurt you, but he'll, he'll cause you to probably get hurt or dead. Very quickly, in fact. That, that seems fair. I will say, if you're good at this game, you're probably good at bullet hell games. Probably. I'm terrible at bullet hell games, so, you know. Making up your own fucking rules as you go along here, buddy? Damn it! Thought I could clear that. Ah, son of a bitch! Yeah, points, yay. I would like a get out of dead free card, also known as a one up. That'd be nice. That won't happen. You know what? We're just gonna do it, because hey, why not? Yeah. Well, I mean... I guess another reason to do it would be just in case I somehow find... a fucking chest that I didn't know about previously. I doubt that will happen, but hey. You know what really kills me is the last time I played this, I at least got to the second stage in three minutes. I don't know if that's gonna happen this time. I mean, I hope it happens. Fuck! You bitch! Jesus. And if you're wondering, yes, I got to the second stage with the fucking fireball. Thank you very fucking much. I knew I shouldn't have picked it up. Oh well. I mean, you know, if I could, like... Like, let's say I hit him in the fucking feet, and then, like... It hurt him, just not like a whole lot. Or if, damn it, it happened again. Or if, like, say it, it made him like go to his knees every so often, I could pelt him in the face. That'd be great. Oh, I'm out of credits. Well, let's see if I get a cool game over screen. Probably not. Oh boy. Yep. Nope. No game over screen. Yeah, that game is way harder than I remember it. Um, and of course it's harder as far as the arcade version. The Super Nintendo version... Uh, let, let's put it this way. The Super Nintendo version is a little more stylish. It has a, a little more going on for it. It just... it feels like it's more progressively difficult. Not like, you know, the first level is fucking Satan's testicle or some shit. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Um... You know, I might do that on here. I might do a, a, uh, a play of uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts just to kind of give you a comparison, like a side-by-side. Because, -side. Uh, I don't know, I mean, the arcade version's not bad, but I, th I think I like the Super Nintendo version more. They teased around with a lot of newer stuff, like uh, raster effects and everything. Um, music sounds about the same from what I remember, but the graphics are a little better, and they did some, you know, cool stuff with it. So... Yeah, but holy shit, that game is its pretty fucking hard, at least for the arcade. But uh, anyway, we've been playing Ghouls and Ghosts for the arcade. We've been doing this for my too spoopy Halloween special. As always, this is your host, Gunsage, and I certainly hope you've enjoyed, and you stay awesome. Hey guys, thank you once again for watching. You stay awesome. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos just like this one.